Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we'll be talking about the Lannister paint scheme and of course I am Gabriel. So here we have uh, definitely a uh, Lannister guard captain. No, assault veteran. My apologies. Assault veteran uh, alternate sculpt. So uh, I'm going to use this guy to showcase um, kind of where I've come to in my thought process for the Lannister paint scheme after painting, you know, a few units of them. So, uh, let's begin. Lannister Red. So, I'm using uh, Vallejo Scarlet, but, oh, my apologies there. Uh, or you could use vermilion, um, just kind of like a nice vibrant red color, something that'll uh, kind of match the, um, you know, the aesthetic, my favorite word it seems, of the Lannisters. Very, very rich, very, um, very, uh, just a very nice color. Just find a nice strong red to use. And, um, Essentially, when I'm working on the main uh, cloaks, now this is a little bit spooky, but bear with me. So you can see here, I'm kind of capturing where the light's coming from. So this is in shadow, that's in shadow, that's in shadow. So I kind of uh, just work in some black and I use that as kind of my shadow color but of course I have this lovely burnt red which we will use in other instances as well and I kind of use these two to darken down um, the red color when it comes to uh, introducing shadow to these uh, large cloak areas um, and so you can see uh, the effect on the flag uh, this I think I went pretty far with the um, highlights and shadows here just because I, I decided I wanted a strong light source coming from this direction so this would be in shadow these this is completely in shadow so there's not much light to it um, which you know works in some ways doesn't work in other ways but uh, that's kind of how I work on the main red now for the uh, yellow colors I have my yellow ochre which is kind of just a base color to just introduce that yellow pigment because it's not very strong. I'll probably do one or two layers of this. And then I have my golden yellow to make it very bright and colorful and very vibrant looking. And so you can see uh, I use it on the trim of the cloak, the uh, Lannister, the trim on the banner here and uh, wherever else it's needed on the model uh, for the uh, kind of Lannister colors. Um, and that's about that for the yellow. And then next we have the armor. So just using Runefang Steel, which is kind of a brighter uh, pigment to the pig iron I was talking about with the Starks. And this is uh, just to kind of go along with their very shiny, southern, very um, kind of expressive attitude of wealth and, and uh, kind of their attention-seeking aspect, I suppose. Um, then uh, you would wash that down with a bit of, let's find the wash, here you are, right next to it, dark tone. And so this is just you know, a regular black tone, just so you don't introduce too much color, so you keep that very nice, shiny, uh, bright steel. Uh, then we use a leather brown. I uh, found this is kind of a good standard mass-produced sort of look that's also got that southern warmth to it to contrast with the Starks more darker and... Um, less uh, saturated colors and so you can see I use that for the boots uh, for the kind of padding um, I don't know if I, you could call that a gambeson but maybe you can um, 
this little padded section uh, to guard, protect his leg. And then there weren't many straps, but, you know, gloves and, and wherever there are uh, straps uh, for the model. Then um, you can see here we have these kind of uh, underclothes sections. Uh, there's something like that with the Lannister guard, and I just use a burnt red. And this is kind of like a, uh, I don't know if you could say burgundy, but kind of a nice rich red. And I think that works well for underclothes kind of thing. So it's like kind of keeps that uh, very warm a color tone but kind of tones it down a bit so it's not just bright red bright red it, it kind of breaks up the model a bit then we have the uh, kind of shoulder cuffs the the kind of puffs on their upper arms and so uh, the process I go through to achieve this is very simple I'll take the base red and white make kind of a bright pink color and just paint that in all the little creases. Um, and then I use the burnt red color to um, basically clean up the tops. And so this way I get a, a very cool uh, high, high contrast pattern um, on the uh, arms. You can see that the, the kind of uh, lower sections weren't especially thick, so you don't get that as much I think this is like kind of the best way to demonstrate it on the back here but um, that is for the that that's uh, kind of the that arm puff pattern I think there's a specific name but I doesn't come to mind for to me right now and so that's the uh, arm puffs right there then we have the um, a a pole of the pole arm and you can see this is just, let me get these out of the way. This is just, uh, not this one, your flat brown with some yellow for the highlight, bit of black for the shadow. Basically, you base coat it in the flat brown. Then you just uh, kind of draw a line with the side of your brush uh, with that brighter color and then do the same thing with the darker side. and. It kind of blends together on either side and it creates a nice uh, kind of light and shadow um, so that it's not just a single color pole which kind of stands out if you don't highlight it uh, well. Um, just a quick note, um, the metal on their swords and whatnot is the same process for their armor so it didn't really do much different uh, in terms of that. Then of course we come to the face and have the same process as before. We have this one. We have uh, Bugman's Glow and Kiz Love Flesh, the uh, lovely couple. And then of course white when you're highlighting it up. So 50-50 for the base color is what I do now. Um, then pure Kiz Love and then whiten his love until it's pretty bright um, and uh, you can also introduce a little more color with scarlet or if you want to do it with a bit of flat brown this is just very tiny amounts if you want to bring a little bit of redness into the cheeks a little bit of um, tanning into the face and it's just very very slight tints I, I, I have to emphasize this if it looks really red, then it looks like he's he's like drunk or has a cold or is just screaming his head off and all the blood's rushing into his face. But basically just to kind of give that liveliness to the Southerners that, you know, the more pale and maybe slightly gaunt Northerners, um, you know, kind of appear. And so uh, that's kind of the... Um, face for you. Of course, uh, using the flesh wash um, uh, with that base color just to um, kind of emphasize those those darker regions where uh, you you're not going to be painting any of that kizzle of flesh. Uh, and then of course we have the hair. 
I would stick with brighter yellows, maybe a bright red, but definitely um, blonde and light brown. And you could even go with a few black uh, haired folks, but I think it does kind of help to distinguish them. So I actually start out with um, the flat brown again uh, for the hair color. And so I just bring this across the entire uh, head. You can't see much of it, but it's um, a good base color, kind of like if you paint brown on a base before you flock it, because you don't want whatever color you had um, showing through. You want that brown undertone um, because it, it looks uh, natural, just like how blonde haired people um, not many people have pure, pure blonde hair, so it helps to have that contrast of dark brown. Then you use a yellow ochre and kind of just paint it as locks. You can kind of see that texture. And then using that golden yellow again to just highlight it. And you can even mix a little white with that golden yellow just to create that nice extra bit of highlight at the very top of the head. So when you bring it down to full view, you'll get a nice shiny uh, yellow head of hair, blonde hair, um, if you like. And uh, yeah, that's, I believe that's the gist of it. If I forgot any parts, please humiliate me in the comments and dislike. But if I didn't, um, maybe do the opposite of that. So I believe that's all the parts uh, to it. I hope you folks enjoyed. After this, we'll be uh, putting out a Bolton video. I'll be catching up. Uh, I know it's a little startling. You know, I'm going to start doing the other factions soon. So stay tuned for that. And have a good day.